Okay, so there are there are a lot of different outputs that you can use with FDS. Um, so if you go up to this outputs menu up here, um, you can see you can do edit solid profiles. I've personally never used it. Um, if you find a use for it, that's great. Um, one thing that I do really use and and I think is really useful is the slices and um, if you've never used FDS before um, slices are a planar view of different parts of uh, of the space so um, what you can do is you can come down here and you can see this draw planar slice uh, an option you can click on that I can usually even do a green click and so what it will draw is a slice in either the x direction, the y direction, or the z direction. And so um, you can actually right click and you can set it to like, um, let's say I want to do a bunch of uh, x axis um, slice files. So I usually put one just through the center of the fire. Um, so that's, that's, uh, that's there. If there's a doorway like there is here, um, it might be useful to see some data that's going through the doorway, maybe down a corridor like um, um, down here. Um, just kind of anywhere you want to see a whole plane of information all at once. This is useful to see temperatures, velocities, um, maybe even um, FED or um, visibility. Um, you can use all the data points here that you could with the device. Um, you just can't collect them and kind of put them in a graph form. It's just more of a, a visual to get an idea of what's going on in this space. Um, so then, yeah, I might do those slices there, maybe one over here. Um, um, but then I can switch to the Y direction and maybe I'll, I'll do one through the fire again and um, get this corridor um, go through the center of this big room to see how that room might be reacting from a fire event or um, maybe down here in these rooms to see how much of the fire effects are going into these um, secondary uh, rooms and compartments. Um, um, so that's that and then maybe some Z1s. It's harder. I think I would probably just do a side view to get a uh, better view of those um, but probably one at um, where most people's heads might be maybe one down further um, again it's, it's up to you based on on where you think you need to um, see different things and, and get a visual on, on different um, uh, different things um, so, so now I made all these different slice files, um, but it's kind of hard to organize them and do different things with them. So you go up to output and then slices, and so here it shows you a nice different, a uh, nice layout of what you, what you've done, um, in x, y, and z uh, coordinates, um, and you can see that these are all temperature. But since so I picked those locations based on because I think they might be important. Um, so what you can do is you can uh, select them all, copy them, come to this bottom row, and paste them. And so, and then you can just change them to something like velocity. Um, and the cool thing is that I think you should be able to uh, paste it. Maybe not. Um, but you can select velocity for all of these different items. And uh, now you have just another another set of data points that you're uh, that you're collecting, and it'll give you a better idea of what's going on in the space. Um, and for velocity specifically, um, if you're just measuring general velocity and not one in a certain direction, I personally like to put the vectors on to see um, the direction and magnitude of what the velocity is. Um, it's, it's definitely, again, it's up to you based on um, what you want to see, but uh, I, I, I certainly think
think that's useful for 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 me. Um, um, but you can, I mean, you can copy things again and. Um, oops. And uh, make them make them something else. Make them uh, visibility or FED or um, whatever you think is is um, is important for for your for your model and for you to to view in a space. Um, so yeah. So now you have a bunch of slices. And you can easily turn these off or hide them by clicking up here, and then now you don't have any slices to um, that you have to look at when you're. You're building or looking at the model, and you can turn these kind of on and off. Um, the other thing that, if you've never used it before, boundary quantities can be helpful if you're um, looking at some of the different things that are affecting the uh, the walls. Like if you're looking at wall temperature, it's it's it's, it's a nice thing to have a visual of. Um, I found that I don't use it as much uh, here, but um, sometimes it, uh, it can be it can be a very useful visual. Um, the thing I do like to use is ISO surfaces, and um, so for example, let's say uh, I'm concerned about temperatures, and I'm concerned at locations where the temperature will rise above. 100 degrees Celsius because um, uh, that's what I said is my performance criteria. Let's say, for example, I'm, I'm not saying that this is the the uh, number I have chosen or uh, have it any data to back this up, but just an example. If you if you put that in there, you can um, mm, this will show you a kind of a 3D representation of every single point in uh, in the model that's going to go over 100 degrees Celsius. The other kind of cool thing that you can do with this is to say, well, I know that uh, um, um, people can't really survive 100 degrees Celsius, um, but people don't like to be burned at, uh, at 50 degrees Celsius. So you can put 50 in there, have a semicolon, and so um, did I put a semicolon? Yeah. All right. So then, then you can have two values in there, and when you look at the uh, output file, it'll actually allow you to change the colors. So you can have 50 be red and 100 be orange. So you can have just that uh, extra level of um, of uh, resolution, I guess. Um, this might be also useful for something like FED, where there's been studies by um, Purser or some other people that um, say that maybe 0.3 is 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 not a great number, but 0.8 is not uh, not a super great healthy number for you. So um, uh, try to look up that data, and if there's there's a point where it's like, oh, this will cause incapacitation and this will cause death, you might want to put those in there, and you can really tell. Um, where those points are going to be in the model. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's just an overview of um, <coughs> help with data that you can use, utilize as opposed that's that's not uh, not devices. Okay.